Today, we become legends. Some abilities in Smite just hit the spot more than any other. I'm sure you guys have your own personal ones that you really enjoy using, look amazing, or have interesting mechanics that make for a fun gameplay experience. Well, me too, and this video will be counting down my top 15 favourite abilities of all time in Smite. Drop your own personal favourites and even your top 5 or 10 if you've got the time down below. I'd love to see what the community thinks are the coolest abilities to use in comparison to mine. And while you're down there, why not hit the subscribe button? It's free and you can help out the Nay Nation on the road to 100k. And quickly before we start, I feel like this needs mentioning in 2022. This is my opinion. Uh, you, you may not agree with everything I put on this list. In fact, it's probably going to be the most biased list I've ever done. The whole idea of this video is that it's meant to be biased. You know, it's my own personal favourite. So don't take too much offence if you don't see your main or like an ability you think absolutely should be on my favourites list. It's just my personal opinion. But first, a word from today's sponsor, War Planet Online. WPO is an MMO strategy game available pretty much everywhere. You can play on your PC, Mac, laptop, Android or iOS phone and launch your global assault to command and conquer in real time. They say war never changes, but in WPO it's always evolving and adapting your tactics to new hostile environments is key. Launch assaults on metropolis cities such as New York, Paris and Tokyo, then regroup your troops and war machines at your custom base to survive the incoming enemy offensive. And of course, it's all multiplayer. Other members of the war planet will join you or be crushed under the weight of your military might. And there's never been a better time to jump into war planet online as they're celebrating 40 years of Rambo by adding the legend John Rambo into the game. After a hard fought ranked game of Smite with Rambo Ula, you can continue the vibe and destroy your enemies as the one man army himself in War Planet Online. What's not to love? But I'm not done yet! The first 40 players to download and try out the game and reach level 10 will win a guaranteed $100 Amazon gift card. Crazy stuff. This promo only runs until November 10th, so be sure to give the game a try and do it quick. So, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen and get bonus 4,000 army units and 4,000 medals to kickstart your your warpath. Thanks again to All Planet Online for sponsoring this video. So jumping into the list, my number 15 favourite ability is Thor's Mjolnir's Attunement or his legendary hammer. This ability is just great in every regard. It has cool lore being Thor's hammer of course, it has insane damage and it has mobility, what's not to love? It only gets better in the context of Thor's kit as well with his combos off of his ult and 2. Who doesn't love the legendary double tap? Next up we have Mulan's 2 when leveled up which is just a super satisfying ability. That double hit feels great to land and does a shit ton of damage to boot. This ability alone makes Mulan fun to play and when combined with Soul Eater the burst healing this can provide is just off the charts. Mulan's whole idea of training up her abilities throughout the match is a really cool concept and her 2 is the best example of it in my opinion. Zooming into the number 13 spot I have Mercury's ult ultimate sonic boom. This ultimate is really unique and it allows an alternate gank route where you can gank up the lane instead of coming from the side of the jungle which makes for some really interesting mind games when playing against mercury. Most of the time you don't expect the jungler to come flying out of the enemy tier 2 tower but sometimes that's how it is with merc. Plus who doesn't love 2.0 attack speed while still critting for 1k per basic as a follow up to this ability at tipper range. So satisfying. We're mounting up for the number 12 placement as Lancelot's 3 is just so much fun to use. This ability is multi purpose in that it can be used for chasing slash running away, for the basket CC immunity to everything but stuns, for a shield to engage the fight with and of course for both the great dismount options which cover from range and up close. I also really like how quickly the one option comes out from mount up as it just bursts the enemy and you can almost instantly start doing more attacks whereas there's a bit more delay on the two option but it of course comes with that nice root and more overall damage. Just a super fun modular ability to use and part of the reason Lancelot is such a fun assassin. Speaking of modular abilities though at number 11 I have Ishtar's imbue arrows. There are a ton of awesome unique steroids in Smite, but Ishtar's one has to be one of the best among them. It has a super long duration of 6 seconds so you can get tons of altered basic attacks out before it expires and all 3 options are extremely unique and useful in their own situations. Spread shot is optimal for up close burst damage with its 5 hits when at point blank range, strike shot is ideal for poking due to the extra range and projectile speed it gives you and of course we all know about storm shot, giving Ishtar some of the best wave clear in the game simply with basic attacks due to their AoE nature. A lot of mechanics like this often seem to have one best option for all situations and the others get thrown to the wayside for the most part, but Ishtar's one does a really good job of having each shot be unique enough that you have to utilise all three in different situations a lot throughout the game and I really like that. 
Speaking of steroids though, breaking into the top 10 we have Erlang Shen's one spot weakness. This is an ability that was already one of my favourites and after the Erlang rework it only got better. This just does way too much stuff with extra damage, life steal, damage reduction on enemies and the cooldown refund mechanic that means this ability is basically active more often than not in a boxing situation. And since the rework it's become the core of Erlang's design in my opinion. That used to be his turtle cancels but since it no longer knocks up and this ability got even better after the changes, spot weakness really feels like the pillar Erlang is built around nowadays in terms of his boxing and it's just a super fun ability to use. At number 9 we have one of the most satisfying ults to hit in the game in my opinion and that's Amaterasu's dazzling offensive. Repurposed from the most overpowered god release of all time, Beta Guan Yu, this ability had a lot to live up to but boy did it. Those bell chimes as you hit the enemy into the 2 second stun is just mwah. Not to mention this ability hits insanely hard if you land all strikes and can easily AoE stun multiple people in a fight which is just super powerful. Plus the mechanic where you can activate your mirror and charge it using the ult damage then confirm the mirror shot off of the ult stun is really fun to play with. Speaking of fun, healing 1000 with Hercules 3 everybody! Of course, not at all fun for his enemies that build no anti-heal against him because quote, Herc is not a healer, but super fun for the Herc player himself abusing this ability. Despite taking a fair few nerfs over the years, Mitigate Wounds is still one of the most interesting and powerful self heals in the game. Pretty weak when just spammed as a heal out of combat but insanely high potential if used in combat as a heal in the middle of a team fight. This ability has won me way too many fights when the enemy think they've got me on the ropes and suddenly half my health bar just reappears out of nowhere and you see the shock in the enemy's eyes as they instantly reverse course and start to run away. Just a top tier ability really. On a similar note, at number 7 I have Geb Shield, which is also notorious for turning the tides of a fight through enormous health gain, but in a slightly different way. The health shield this ability provides is so clutch and the only person it doesn't feel good for is the enemy diving your carry. You love it, your carry loves it, the enemy wants to take a toaster bath. But to be honest, the shield portion of this ability isn't even the best part, it's the cleanse. The dual use of this ability makes it so you might often wait to cleanse a deadly CC instead of shielding some minor damage your allies might take. The cleanse on this is so clutch against certain gods like Nox and Fenrir that their entire existence is just shut down by Geb Shield cleansing their single target CCs. And that cleanse is the reason this ability is so high on the list. Don't get me wrong, it will probably still be somewhere on the list without it, but not this high. Sticking with the shield theme, at number 6 we have my favourite shield and that's Nem3. I may be biased since Nem was my second ever main after she released Broken AF back in 2014, but I feel like Nem Shield has a certain skill to it that is really rewarding. Not only do you have to time it well since it lasts just 2 seconds and the enemies can wait it out if they're skilled, but you also have to not shield into any kind of hard CC or you just get no value, so it does have counters in that regard. Plus this ability provides one of if not the fastest AA cancel in the whole game that allows Nem to get out 2 basic attacks within a fraction of a second, especially fun on crit Nem when those two basic attacks can be 80% of a backliner's health. But of course, using this ability strictly for an AA cancel comes with its own risk of leaving you defenseless and those kind of mind games make Retribution Shield a ton of fun to use and play around, hence the placement on my list. Breaking into the top 5 though is Bologna's 2, Bludgeon. A true classic among solo laners such as myself and pretty much the sole reason for Bologna's immense lane pressure and early wave clear, Bologna's weapon swap mechanic in general is just so much fun and similar to Ishtar's 1 that I mentioned earlier, each weapon has its own uses that are valid in different situations. Back to the hammer though, those cleave basic attacks are just so strong and you can even use the slam on the ability itself to poke the enemy solo laner because your basic attacks will still out clear them regardless. And damaging the enemy god will aggro the minions to you, grouping up all 6 minions for even faster clear with the cleave basics. This ability is so powerful that it warped the season 2 meta into Bologna vs Jing Chen exclusively because Jing countered this ability so hard with his knock up and 50% basic attack damage reduction. But I digress, Bologna is one of my favourite gods and this ability is one of my favourite from her, it had to be high up on the list. At number 4 I have a Wheelix's Gravity Surge which has to be one of the coolest names and is one of the coolest ultimates in terms of gameplay too. Some people might hate it but I love the idea of this ability being affected by yours and the enemy's team comp. It still functions well enough without any knock ups on your team or jumps on the enemy team since of course a Wheelix can knock up from the side or back and has ways to guarantee that such as Feather Step to put you behind the enemy. However this ability gets so much better when the enemy team picks jumps or your own team picks reliable knock ups like Hebo's 3 or Backer's Belly Flop. 
Combining with your team and hard countering the enemy team is just so much fun and even more so in ranked when you can truly counter pick with a Wheelix from seeing what the enemy has chosen. She just utterly destroys a lot of gods that engage with their leaps like Fenrir or Bacchus and it's hilarious to watch a support by Bead specifically because I altered their jump engage for the fifth time in a row. Not to mention the secondary use for this ability as a major steroid giving 70% attack speed and 60 power. It's not the most common use but sometimes ulting for these stats to burn an objective like Fire Giant is the right play. A Wheelix Ult is by far one of the most interesting abilities to use in Smite and I wish we had more like it really. Breaking into the top 3, I have probably the most powerful basic ability in the game and that's Fafnir's Dragon Form 2. Now of course, this isn't really a basic ability given you need to ult to access it, but boy is this ability so strong and so unique. Casting Coerce on your whole team and watching Fire Giant, a tower or even the enemy titan just evaporate in front of you is one of the best support feelings in Smite. I mentioned a few steroids earlier and this is one of the most powerful steroids but for your whole team. When you finally get your team to cooperate and group up for a 5 man Coerce, it's just so satisfying and absolutely deserving of this placement. We have another two, a number two, and that is Baron's Consigned Spirits. Despite getting absolutely bodied by nerfs over time since his release, this ability is still insanely strong and insanely fun to use. Confirming right off of his 3 and giving a ridiculous amount of different effects, this is probably my favourite basic ability in the game. Damage, flat healing, missing health healing, extra movement speed and a slow cleanse. If I read that to you and you didn't know it was Baron's 2, you'd probably think that was an ultimate. Yet yeah, this ability is on a base 11 second cooldown and is spammable AF with max CDR. Plus you can even get Fableless Toop Shields from this too, it's just an insanely fun ability to use. Before we get into my favourite smite ability of all time, I have 3 honourable mentions. Who use 1 purely because triple bounces are super high. Hype. Poseidon Kraken for a similar reason, it's just really hype. And finally, Cleaners 3, which is a weird inclusion, but I just love the way it works with the line into cleave that you can cancel at any time and 180 to get a really bursty double hit. But finally, at number one, we have what some of you might view as a cop out, and that's Ratatoska's passive. Yes, this isn't really an ability in a traditional sense, but it is his passive, so I thought I would include it. And it couldn't really be anywhere but number one, given how cool this passive is and how completely unique it makes Rat. With each Acorn giving him a completely unique playstyle and build path. From the Walking Fountain Acorn builds with Soul Eater, to the Protection Synergy Acorn with Glad Shield and Manticore Spikes, to the Crit Acorn with, you guessed it, more Crit items, to the standard ability based Acorn with an easier stun on the 3. Each one is just so unique and provides its own build path for Rat and that makes it feel like you're playing a different god each time and it's really interesting design in my opinion. More of this, Hyrez. But that's all I've got for my top 15 favourite abilities in Smite. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to drop a like before you leave and put your own personal favourite abilities down in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys think are the most fun ones in comparison to my list. But that's it from me. Have a great day and peace out you nerds.